This is the Daily Market Comment by Raf Boyajian. I'm Christina Marucos and thank you for joining us at XM.com. Fears about rising virus cases in Asia receded on Tuesday as signs that infections in India are on the decline and as more European nations slowly lift the restrictions boosted hopes that the global recovery remains on track. Equities gained across the board with shares in Europe opening sharply higher after a solid session in Asia. U.S. stock futures were also up, led by the Nasdaq, while the Dow Jones trailed somewhat. The stimulus and vaccine story is still a valid theme in global markets, but not so much on Wall Street, where most of the good news is already baked in and many big names are plagued by bloated valuations. The minutes of the April policy meeting due tomorrow are expected to further reinforce the Fed's position on its current policy path. The Fed's insistence that the inflation surge will be transitory despite some worrying trends suggesting otherwise is keeping a lid on Treasury yields pressuring the U.S. dollar. The greenback has plunged to a near three-month low today against the basket of currencies, falling significantly against the likes of the euro, pound and Canadian dollar. The euro has shot above $122 today while sterling is testing the $142 level. A pickup in Europe's vaccination pace, along with the gradual easing of virus restrictions in several Eurozone countries, have revived the Euro's fortunes. However, rising Eurozone government bond yields on the back of speculation that the European Central Bank might start planning its exit strategy from the emergency stimulus as early as June are also fueling the single currency's rebound. In the United Kingdom, the Bank of England has already taken its first steps towards tapering, and the pound is fast approaching the February peak of $142.35. Meanwhile, jobs data released earlier today suggests employment had already started to recover in March when the lockdown was only partially relaxed. The Canadian dollar proved unstoppable, scaling fresh six-year highs versus the greenback as investors became more certain that Fed rate hikes will lag behind those by the Bank of Canada. In the meantime, the combination of subdued Treasury yields and rising inflation expectations have been a boon for the non-yielding bullion. Gold prices were headed for a fourth straight day of gains today, advancing towards three-and-a-half-month highs. This was today's Daily Market Comment. Thank you for watching at XM.com.